Leslie Visser is the most renowned female sports journalist and broadcaster of all time. She has covered broadcasts for almost every sport, including the Final Four, the Super Bowl, the World Series, the NBA Finals, the Triple Crown, the Olympics, the US Open, and the World Figure Skating Championship. Throughout her career, her mother has always served as an enormous supporter in her life and even inspired the title of her new book. I wanted to be a sports writer from the time I was 10 years old, which the job did not exist for women. This was in the early 60s, and we were living in Cincinnati, and my mom, she said, what do you want to be when you grow up? I was 10 years old, and I said, I want to be a sports writer, which was like saying, I want to go to the moon. And my mom said, that's great. Sometimes you have to cross when it says don't walk. She had a vision and she wasn't afraid for her daughter to have a vision. She really raised me to be fearless and I try to translate that to young women, that of course there are going to be hurdles, but you have to view those as challenges. And uh, when she said to me, that's great, it gave me permission. So my mom was really, uh, she, was, she was the epitome of Go for it. Starting as a sports writer, it took years to make strides in the sports industry, and that did not come without its struggle. But Visser has always kept her head held high. Did it ever get tiring being the first? I was really privileged because they, the, the Boston Globe did make me the first woman to cover the NFL, but they also sent me to the Olympics, to Wimbledon, to the US Open, to uh, eight Final Fours. Uh, World Series, so it, it just really stands out from being, and I was pretty much the first in, a, in all those, but the NFL is so enormous in this country and it, there was no place for me to hide. It was clear that I was a woman, that I was on the beat. Um, you probably know or might not know, but for my first seven years of covering the NFL, there were no provisions for equality, so I had to stand in the parking lots and wait for the athletes to come out. So in some ways, I think it made me a better reporter because I had to do it all myself. Well, the, the press credential said no women or children in the press box. Kind of diminishing, don't you think? I'm there to do the game and it says you're not allowed. So it was, uh, I used a sense of humor. That's what helped me. Um, I didn't sue anybody. I didn't go running. We didn't have human resources then. So hard to believe I would turn such a really kind of a brutal thing into something positive, but I, I feel like I got a lot out of it. I have a lot of scar tissue, but I looked at it as, hey, everything, it's just life. As the first female sports broadcaster, Leslie has served as a role model for many other women going into the sports industry. What advice would you give to women or girls going into the industry now? I, I would say uh, learn it for yourself and don't quit. And, and really be, be honorable in, if, you know, be honorable, just be honorable and be kind to other women because you know, I, I had nobody in the end, so I know what it was like to have to go back to the hotel room and cry by myself, but I know it really helps if you feel we're a community. I would say it takes three or four elements, and to me, it it's, it's, was the same 40 years ago when I started. I think it's the same now. It'll be the same for you. Uh, you must have passion. Passion's number one. You know, if you don't love it, don't do it. Don't do it because it, it, somewhere it'll seep out that you don't love it. So I think you have to have passion. I think you have to have knowledge. Like when you go in, like, like you're obviously prepared or anybody, you know, if you're not prepared, then that also will identify you as someone. And you have to have stamina. It's, it's a really, it, it can be a long slog and a lot of people try it for a couple years and then they say, wow, this is too hard and they leave it. But I would counsel young women, don't, don't, because the rewards are greater than the lousy times. Leslie Visser's positive outlook on life and happy personality is what has allowed her to strive all these years. I, I decided from the very beginning that I was never going to make it, uh, that if I got the job you didn't. I, was, I always thought, hey, there are a lot of pieces to the pie, I'll take a slice, you take a slice, and I think that has helped me. I mean, I, I still hear from women much more than you think. I, I can't believe how you helped me 15 years ago, 20 years ago, because that is the way to go. The answer is not to pit us against each other. It's for us to be unified. I just, um, I just tried to always carry myself the same way, and I never, I just felt for myself that complaining was not the way to go. It was just working harder, which there are times, but, but there are plenty of men who you know work 12 and 14 hour days too, so 
I, I've really tried. It's so weird to always be the first, and I've tried not to make it about gender.